the poet is asking us to lead a better life and a satisfying life so here he says that if we won't work according to our thoughts so here he gives a set of advices the poet is giving a set of advice to us so as a human beings we will be having so many thoughts inside us we will be having so many emotions feelings everything right Welcome dear students I am Mrs Reena lecturer department of english at Vidyashram first grade college Mysuru Today in this session let us discuss the poem you start dying slowly of second sem BBA So today we will be going through the introduction to poet introduction to poem summary theme and the literary devices used in this poem so let's move on to the introduction let's know about the poet here so ricardo elisar neftali reis basalto so this is a difficult name to remember okay so he was better known by his pen name and later legal name pablo neruda okay so he was born in the year 1904 that was on 12th july and he lived up to 23rd september 1973 so he was he belonged to chile and he was a poet diplomat and as well as a politician and he won the nobel prize for literature in the year 1971 next he became a famous poet at an early age that was when he was 13 years old then and he wrote the poems or his writings was in different styles it included historical epics then political manifestos etc next and also passionate love poems such as the ones in his collection 20 love poems and a song of despair that was in the year 1924 next here is the introduction to the poem the poet in the poem talks about the beauty and importance of our life he advises the readers to live a better and more satisfying life so it's an advice for us and through this poem the poet is asking us to lead a better life and a satisfying life so not to satisfy others it is to satisfy ourselves then he shows and he advises us how to live the life and how to experience how to live the life beautifully and how to experience different things in a life so it's a set of advices given to a normal people so set of advices given by the poet to the readers to how to lead a happy life next he also encourages the readers to have some dreams and to chase that dreams to work on to chase our dreams next he says that if we are afraid to pursue our thoughts okay if we are afraid to pursue our thoughts our result in the future our, the result will be meaningless and it is as good as he says that it is as good as dying slowly so here he says that if we won't work according to our thoughts if we lose our life if we doesn't work according to our thoughts he says it's not there we will be not leading a worthy life next here the poem the poem explains that there is a difference between living and existing now let me recite the poem for you you start dying slowly if you do not travel if you do not read if you do not listen to the sounds of life if you do not appreciate yourself you start dying slowly when you kill your self esteem when you do not let others help you you start dying slowly if you become a slave of your habits walking every day on the same paths 
if you do not change your routine if you do not wear different colors or you do not speak to those you don't know you start dying slowly if you avoid to feel passion and their turbulent emotions those which make your eyes glisten and your heart beat fast you start dying slowly if you do not change your life when you are not satisfied with your job or with your love if you do not risk what is safe for the uncertain if you do not go after a dream if you do not allow yourself at least once in your lifetime to run away from sensible advice so hope you understood concept of this poem when we recited the poem itself right so here he gives a set of advices the poet is giving a set of advice to us what are the things which we have to do at least once in a lifetime okay so let's see uh, see the summary of the poem so if you do not travel if you do not read if you do not listen to the sounds of life if you do not appreciate yourself you start dying slowly here you start dying slowly here the poet doesn't mean a physical death he is saying is talking about a mental death right so the poet wants us to live the life fully and he doesn't wants to live lead a life of negativity or idle life okay so he tells the people or the folk to come out of their shells that means to come out of house and to travel from one place to another place travel to different places so he is asking us to make some adventures in our life so always sitting in a house or dwelling in a same place it doesn't make sense so as a human being we need some changes and we should travel from one place to another place so he is asking the poet is asking the people or the readers to come out of your house or the shells and to travel to the different places and experience new things next further uh, the poet asks us to read so he says us because we all know that life is short right life is so small and within that short span we won't be able to experience all the things in our life so what he is saying that at least so to see and feel the unseen world he is asking us to read the book at least to read and to understand about the world through the books next after that he ask us to listen to the sounds of life okay sounds of lives it may include the sounds of voices the person other persons okay and the sounds of music sound of okay listening to the sound of life may include listening to voices then listening to noise listening to music and listening to music of nature okay it may include all the different sounds which we hear it may be the music of nature like music of words whatever may be the poet is asking us to listen to all that things not simply sitting idle he is asking us to enjoy the different sounds around us and also he says that we must learn to listen to the sound of silence that is the sound of silence means it is our inner voice okay so as a human beings we will be having so many thoughts inside us we will be having so many emotions feelings everything right so the poet is asking us to go through the emotions listen to our inner voice sound of the silence can conquer everything so we have lot of things in our mind so when we listen to that we can conquer so many things or ev almost everything in the life if we listen to that we can achieve something in our life then that means in the simple way listen to the voice man listen to the sound means here listening more stress is given to the inner voice it is listening to in a simple words it means listen to ourselves from within 
Next is here the poet advises us to appreciate ourselves. Right? He is asking us to appreciate for our good deeds and fails to praise and encourage ourselves. Then how? So if we fail to praise and encourage ourselves for our good deeds, how can we expect others to encourage us? Okay. So for example, so many things, a good deed in our life and we ourselves will forget us to appreciate. So we know that we have done something good in our life and we won't be, we won't appreciate ourselves. So here the poet is asking, if we are not appreciating ourselves, how can we expect others to appreciate us? Okay, so the first thing is, we have to appreciate ourselves. So then he's saying that when we fail to do all the above things like, fail to travel, fail to read, fail to listen to our inner voice and fail to appreciate ourselves. If we fail to do all these things in our life, negativity fills. Okay. And uh, so we will lose our self-respect and we won't be much confident about ourselves. So again, when the negativity fills our life and we start losing hope in our life. Next is, when you kill your self-esteem, when you do not let others help you, you start dying. So here he is speaking about our self-esteem. Okay, so when we are in a society, we have some status, right? So most of the people will have that inferior uh, complex in them, right? So maybe because of their color, right, caste, creed, religion. So here, we should not give importance to all these things. All the human beings in the world are equal. So here in the world, these differences can't make any superior or anyone superior or inferior. Okay, so we may be following different customs, culture according to our ancestors, right? So our physical appearance, all this aspect will not make anyone superior or inferior. What we will do is, we will think ourselves as inferior to the, the other person. So we should not have that concept in our mind. You should think we all are equal. We should not worry about a physical appearance or to which uh, caste or religion, who, whatever may be, uh, we should not uh, care about all that things, we should think that all the human beings, all people are equal. Then he says, as a human being, when we really think that we are inferior to others, we lose our self-respect. And when we are not ready to respect ourselves, how can we expect others to respect? So here the poet says that, so when we think that we are inferior to the other people, we lose our self-respect. Okay, so here also like, so if we are not respecting ourselves, how can the other people respect us? Next, again he says that we must not lose our self-esteem. Okay, and here he advises us to mix with the society. Okay, mix in society and when we don't mix in the society or when we do not talk to each other or when we do not communicate with the people, we stop them coming near to us. Okay, so if we won't communicate, when a person comes to us, if we won't communicate with that person properly, what happens? It's a way to stop them coming near to us. So here, as a social being, we have to mingle with others, mingle with other peoples and naturally a social, in a society, people are dependent on each other, right? We cannot live, a, live alone. We have to depend on one or the other person. So communication is very important. We have to communicate with others. So if we don't do that, naturally, we stop them from helping us. So in other words, we ourselves close all the doors of hope 
remaining in gloomy loneliness. So here he says that we have to mingle with other people and we as a so we are de dependent on each other. So we even we have to help others and we should allow others to help us. So these things make us negative. So and loneliness can make our life worse. Okay. If we don't allow other people to enter into our life or so if we don't communicate with others, it is like again negativity fills into our life and we will be in loneliness. Next, if you become a slave of your habits, walking every day on the same paths, if you do not change your routine, if you do not wear different colors or you do not speak to those you don't know, you start dying slowly. Again, the poet is saying we easily become slaves of our habits, especially the bad habits, right? So once if we become the slaves of that, especially the bad habits, nobody can help us. He's saying that, so which in the end can harm us a lot. This is bad habits. At the end, we have to suffer more due to that habits. So he is saying that we must recognize these habits, bad habits in the beginning and we have to try to change it as soon as possible. On the other hand, good habits are really difficult to follow in the beginning. So we all know that if it is a good habit, in the beginning we find it difficult to follow the good habits. But once if we follow that, it will help us to lead a happy and beautiful life always. Next, so he asks us to, again the poet asks us to change the old path, okay, old ways which means to change our attitude or inner attitude and see the things, see the new things or find the things in a new dimensions or new ways. So always we will be following the same path, same routine every day. We will be having some thoughts in our mind and we will be going according to that only. We won't try to change ourselves. Here the poet is asking us to think or change our path towards the new way or new dimensions. Then it may be things related to our life or career or any other innovations. Next, here uh, he is changing us to change our colors also, right? So we should have some colors in our life. Okay, not only one color, black and white, we should, our life should be colorful. You can see the butterfly will be of different colors and it will be filled with different colors right and it looks more beautiful when we are filled with more colors we look more beautiful so here the colors may be the different emotions in our life so as a human being we have lot of emotions like joy sorrows we have ups and downs in our life then good and evil so we should acknowledge all of them in our life so we should go through all the phases of life not only happiness every time or sorrow every time we should go through all the things all the emotions in our life so the, during that time only it will be our life will be colorful then to get all these things to make our life colorful, we must talk to all right, and to the unknown as well. So we should not only talking to the known person, we should talk to the unknown also to explore life. So when we talk to others, we will get ideas of how to lead a life from different people. Okay, then. And if we fail to do this, our life would become boring to have no innovations. Next, if you avoid to feel passion and their turbulent emotions, those which make your eyes glisten and your heart beat fast, you start dying slowly. So, all of us have dreams and ambitions in our life. So what we have to do for this to achieve the dreams and ambitions, can we sit uh, idly at home and uh, whether the dreams and ambitions which we have come to, our, come to our house in search of us? 
No. So what we have to do in order to chase our dreams, uh, we have to work tirelessly on that. Okay. So when one becomes successful after chasing the dreams, he knows how consistent efforts are needed and what flame of emotions that is turbulent emotions is required in the mind. So to chase our dreams, we have to work hard and we have to undergo so many things to acquire that. So here the poet is saying that as a human beings, we have dreams and ambitions to achieve that we have to work hard. Next. So once if we are successful and once we uh, achieve the dreams, so what happens? It makes a heartbeat fast. That means we will be happy after that. Okay, after leading a successful life, after uh, achieving success in our life. So we will be, our eyes uh, shine. Okay, it makes a heartbeat fast and the shine in our eyes is worth remembering always. Then the feeling of success or the taste of success is the best in the world. So once we are successful in our life, that feeling and the taste of that success is the best thing in the world. So when we avoid our emotions to try to do great things, then our emotional life ends somewhere and we start dying mentally. So here we should not hear. Here the poet is saying us to us not to avoid our emotions. So we will be having emotions and we have to, we should not allow this, allow our emotions to stop achieving greater things in our life. Next, if you do not change your life, when you are not satisfied with your job, or with your love, if you do not risk what is safe for the uncertain, if you do not go after a dream, if you do not allow yourself at least once in your lifetime to run away from sensible advice. Okay, so here the poet is asking us to change our life, uh, change our habits, thoughts, everything. So he here he says, if we do not change our life, life becomes monotonous and boring. That means always we will monotonous means always the same thing, continue every day repeating the same thing. So it becomes boring. So one must do the job of his life. So here is speaking about the job which we have which we choose okay so when we choose the job also that should be that should give us some satisfaction right so if you are satisfied with the job you can continue the job and you have to choose the profession which you love to do so here he says that we must be careful while choosing a career then many of us do the work or job which we really did not mean to do but some of the things stop us making us dissatisfied from within okay next at least here he says again at least once in a lifetime if we do not allow ourselves to chase our dreams if we don't allow us ourselves to move from our so-called permanent place then you start dying slowly. So here the poet clearly says that at least once in a lifetime, we have to allow ourselves to chase our dreams, for example. So if you want to, so if you are staying in uh, Mysore itself and if you want to go to Delhi uh, or some other place, just don't keep on thinking that at least once in your lifetime, try to go there. Somehow you manage to go there and be happy. So like that, he's asking us to chase our dreams. So if we don't allow ourselves to move from one place to another place, so it's like dying mentally. So it's not here, the poet is not, he doesn't mean about our physical death. So he's saying within we, our life is, short within that short time we should try to experience all the new things in our life so the central idea or the central theme of the poem is how you should lead your life 
So it's a set of verses are given here. You might uh, so you can cultivate this in your uh, life, and you will be able to lead a happy life. So don't allow your emotions to control your life. Truly live and experience life. You must follow your passions. If you have some passions in your life, you must work for that, and you must follow that. Next, the literary devices. The literary devices used in this form are anaphora. So it is a literary device called repetition of sentence. So word and phrase. So such as in this poem, writer has repeated the words and sentences like you start dying slowly. And if you do not. So when you re recite the poem, you might have gone through this phrases or these words so many times. Next is apotheosis. That is, it is a literary device used in the poem. That means when the writer is unable to continue the speech. Okay. For example, if you become a slave of your habits. Now here he is talking about habit. Then there is no continuation there. So he is taking walking every day on the same path. Then again another one. If you do not change your routine, there is no continuation, right? There is a change in the line. Hope you all understood this poem. And you can also follow or chase your dreams. Don't stop. Don't allow the emotions to stop your life. So lead a happy life. And in the next session, let us discuss the poem. We are the TSP Banking Directors. Thank you all. Stay safe and healthy.